to the guys organizing it. House freshman presidents, Indiana Republican Luke Messer and Pennsylvania Democrat Matt Cartwright. I end it with you, Congressman Cartwright, to begin with you. What do you hope to come of this? Well, it's something that uh, Luke and I have been working on ever since we both got elected presidents of our respective freshman class, uh, about working together, about spending time together. This is something that the American public clearly wants. They want to see us spending time together, becoming friends, making so we can work together, uh, because they're so sick of the bickering, they're sick of the infighting. So Luke and I decided early on we're going to spend time together. We're going to have social events together. We've already done that a couple of times. And tonight we're having pizza together, and let's hope it doesn't degenerate into a food fight. Right, Neil? <laughs> now, I assume there's room in this restaurant for all 60-plus of you, right? Uh, yeah, there's, there's plenty of room there. And listen, we're not Pollyannas about this. We're not going to change the, the world overnight with a few dinners. Uh, or lunch here and there, but we do believe it's it's far harder to demonize somebody that you know. People sent us here to get things done, and, and it's hard to work together if you don't know each other. So that's part of what tonight's about. You know, I'm thinking of those 12 who are gathering at the White House tonight. They know each other very well. In fact, they a lot of them <laughs> known each other for many, many years, but they still seem on the surface to hate each other. So I, I, I could be wrong on that, but when you get together at a pizza place or a fancy restaurant, uh, can you ever get past the pleasantries? In other words, uh, even though you like each other, you know each other, can you work with each other when it seems like both sides are so philosophically miles apart? Well, he here's the answer. One, one thing that uh, you know probably doesn't uh, make much for advertising revenue on TV stations or sell many newspapers, the truth of it is there are a lot of bipartisan bills that, that sail through Congress. Uh, in fact, on the floor of the House today, we had uh, several instances of Democrats over on the Republican side gaining co-sponsors. I was doing that this morning, uh, and vice versa. There's a lot of business that gets done in a bipartisan fashion that doesn't make the headlines. Yeah, and Neil, the only thing I would add is, while I do think people have worked together professionally for many years, often they haven't taken the time to get to know each other. So they, you know, in today's world where people are on flights out of the city, Time and time again, a lot of the, the things divide this city. You know, there are things we disagree on. You look at the president's budget today. I would say parts of the president's budget that Matt likes, I don't like. The parts yeah. of the budget that Matt doesn't like, I do like. But we do believe if you can start the process of getting to know each other, hopefully we can find some common ground. Well, it worked for Tip O'Neill and Ronald Reagan, didn't it? So you never That's know. what they say. All right. Uh, guys, thank you very, very much. Of course.